All right, motor's completely disconnected and ready to pull. While I was working on it, I was picking it up with the tractor with the chain around the bumper. When I got it a couple feet in the air, I put two tires on underneath both wheels. So it would be like a safe work platform because that thing has popped lines before and it could drop on me. So now the tire, I mean the engine is sitting on a car tire with a rim. It's completely disconnected. And I was first thinking maybe I could take it out through the bottom because then I just pick it up with the front bumper, push the van backwards with the tractor and then the motor's just sitting there. Well, it seems to be a little bit too wide at the top. So it, I don't think it's going to fit through. So I'm going to do a pull from the top and take it out that way. So I'm going to hook a chain somewhere around where that motor mount was and a chain there. Loop it across and take it out. So in a moment you'll see that. hope it works out by myself with no one to guide it out. I did take my big trusty pry bar and centered the motor a little bit more that way so it would uh, maybe not interfere with anything when I'm taking it out. This is probably the most difficult car engine I've ever taken out. I mean there wasn't anything that went wrong but it was difficult. A lot of engine spaghetti that I don't I won't need at all anymore. Basically I just need to run the wire from the starter motor to the battery and the alternator to the main power box on the Volkswagen and other than, it'll, other than that it'll be an independent system. Alright, ready for the next step, tractor.